Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Pisces, this is your weekly March 29th through April 4th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Four of Cups clarified by the Ten of Swords and we also have the Ten of Cups and the Star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, something comes to an abrupt end. Perhaps you are refusing something, some kind of an offer. But that ultimately leads to a um, happy family and uh, just some kind of a wish fulfillment or happiness in general. So um, perhaps you are choosing to stay with your family uh, this week and uh, that will bring you happiness and this will be a wish fulfillment for you but like I said you are rejecting something you are basically saying a hard no to whatever it is somebody is trying to offer you and since this is a work or business spread this could have been you know a work offer a new business adventure offer pretty much anything that has to do with business and work. Pisces, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the uh, Seven of Cups, the Hangman and the Six of Wands. Uh, if you've been in some kind of a stuck, unknown, confusing, delusional situation, this week you will finally come out of this fog. Uh, you're riding out on your white horse and you're feeling victorious. Um, whatever the situation was between you and your partner, you're finally setting a record straight or you could be uh, leaving the situation altogether but if you are leaving it then you're feeling very very victorious as if you've uh, conquered something or you finally left something behind. Um, so you are leaving something that didn't serve you well, something that was confusing and delusional <laughs> you're leaving all that behind and you feel victorious Pisces if you are on the quest for new love this spread is for you we've got the Queen of Wands the uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands you could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius yes someone is writing in <laughs> it could be that fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female doesn't really matter or this person is very passionate, very fiery, and um, they don't stand still. They take, a they take action. So either you are approaching this person, but, or this person is finally um, approaching you. We've got the Seven of Pentacles in the middle. This is a card of waiting, so perhaps um, there was some kind of a stalemate. <laughs> For a while and then somebody one of you is finally you know giving it a go they're finally making this new uh, passionate offer to get into the relationship it'll be up to you or whoever is on the receiving end but I only see passion in this uh, spread so this looks pretty good uh, one word of caution word of wisdom is the Knight of Wands often indicates this, an in and out, out energy so if uh, this person left you in the past and they're coming back in just expect this kind of a behavior from this person let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Pisces uh, we've got the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands and Temperance I knew it guys remember in the previous spread I kind of warned you about uh, this person coming back and then leaving and then coming back again so I think this spread is a confirmation we got this uh, Queen of Wands again uh, this is a fire sign uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius or this uh, person is very fiery passionate and uh, they are trying to heal the situation they're trying to reestablish this balance 
with you. They're coming in and they want to uh, get back into your good graces and restart this relationship. And uh, like I said, this will ultimately be up to you whether you want to um, accept this person back or not. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Pisces, this week. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. See how there's two progressions from eight to nine and then from seven to eight? Uh, a, co a coincidence? I doubt it. So I think uh, you've been uh, living in a dream world for a while. And this kind of reminds me of the established love relationship spread I did earlier for you. But this could be a different situation. So if you've been living um, in some kind of a illusional world, if you've been stuck, if you've been um, stressing out about something, if something has been giving you anxiety, then this week you're finally walking away from the situation. At long last, this is happening. But this will surprise you for some reason. Perhaps uh, at some point during the week you're going to say, that's it, I've had it. You're going to pack up and get the heck out. And uh, this will surprise you this week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.